Hello beautiful family, it's Stephen, it's the 6th of November in the year 2022 and I've come on here, this is a, a major, major warning. I, I just have to read you this scripture, um, many people have read it but let me read it to you now. It's Ezekiel chapter 33. Again, the word of the Lord came unto me saying, Son of man, speak to my... Uh, Speak to the children of thy people and say unto them, When I bring the sword upon a land, if the people of the land take a man of their coasts and set him for their watchman, if when he seeth the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people, then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and taketh not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. He heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. The blood shall be upon him, but he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul. But if the watchman see the sword coming and blow not the trumpet, and the people be not warned, if the sword come and take any person from among them, he is, a take, he is taken away in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. So thou, O son of man, I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore thou shalt hear the word at my mouth and warn them from me. When I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, thou shalt surely die. If thou dost not speak to warn the wicked from his way, that wicked man shall die in his iniquity. But his blood will I require at thine hand. Nevertheless, if thou warn the wicked of his way to turn from it, if he do not turn from his way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. Therefore, O thou, son of man, speak unto the house of Israel. Thus ye speak, saying, If our transgressions and our sins be upon us, and we pine away in them, how should we then live? Say unto them, As I live, saith the Lord God, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked turn from his way and live. Turn ye, turn ye from your evil ways, for why will ye die, O house of Israel? So that's uh, Ezekiel chapter 33 up to verse 11. So I'm blowing the trumpet. Da -da, da -da, da -da. The sword is coming upon the land. So please, take warning, turn, repent from your evil ways and believe on Jesus Christ. Believe the gospel and you will be saved. Don't put it off a second longer because I'm telling you, I'm telling you we've got hours, hours. We haven't got weeks, we've got hours. And Jesus Christ shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first, and then we which are alive and remain are going to be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, 16 uh, to 18. This is our blessed hope and glorious appearing of the great God and our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Titus 2, 13. So if you haven't believed on Jesus Christ, I'm telling you now, the sword is coming upon the land. War, war is coming. So please, if you haven't believed on Jesus, first know that he loves you. First of all, I'm telling you, he loves you. Like I've just said, he's not happy. He don't get any pleasure if you die and you go down to hell. You get no pleasure from that. So... The word of God. Kiss the son. Lest he be angry and you perish in the way. He's the living word. So I, 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 I sometimes hold it like this, you know. I, I just love it. Um, so um, we, need to, we need to pray. Pray for all our family members. And um, I, it's like my dad. I, I was talking to my dad. Um, he gave me this little book. And I just wanted to read... Um, my, my dad, he, he, he went into the Navy um, at 15 years old. 
he lied about his age and he said he was 16 and anyway he's traveled traveled the world on uh, submarines uh, carrying nuclear warheads so if you don't believe that there's nuclear bombs um <clears throat> my dad will will assure you that um there there is there is indeed um i just want to read you um it, it's got it's 1961, this little book, and I kept it in perfect condition. And I just want to read to you these little, li I'll make it under 10 minutes, and read to you these li little prayers. One of these is called The Morning Prayer. It says, um, The day is before you. It is sure to bring many chances of helping others. So you must have a minute or two with our Lord before starting off on service. Kneel down. Wait for a moment. Christ is looking at you. Try and look back at him. Then say, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, Amen. O oh God, my heavenly Father, I thank thee for keeping me safe through the past night. Send me forth this day with thy blessing. Help me to do my duty like a true man and to help other people at all times. Grant that I may always stand on the right side and spread thy kingdom of goodness and happiness wherever I go through Jesus Christ our Lord. Um, that's a, a morning prayer. Just keep checking the time. Because if I do it in over 10 minutes, it has trouble uploading. And then... Um, um, uh, uh, where is it? Oh, evening prayers. Here we go. Evening prayers. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. O oh Lord Jesus Christ, who didst go about doing good, I thank thee for taking care of me through the past day and for giving me chances of doing good. Mention any good turn that you have been able to do. Give me more grace every day to follow this thy example that in the place in which I live may be better for my life in it. Amen. So, um, I confess, O oh Lord, that I have failed. I ask thee to forgive me. Make haste. Uh, sorry, make me hate wrong things and help me to do better tomorrow. For Jesus Christ's sake, our Amen. Sorry. <laughs> so th this was given to my dad. Um, yeah, just read it. That's my dad, Gordon. And here we go. I'm just going to pray for all our parents, sisters, sons, brothers, daughters, son, whatever. I'm just going to pray. Well, we are going to pray. Join me, guys. I'm going to have to make this quick so it uploads. Dear loving Heavenly Father, I pray this video, first of all, will be a blessing to many, everyone. I pray you will be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we bring our all our immediate family to you. Lord God, we ask you, Heavenly Father, at this very, very late hour, this last hour, that Father God, Holy Spirit, you will draw them to the cross of the Lord Jesus Christ. And grant them repentance unto salvation and save them. Lord Jesus, reveal a Father to, in heaven to them all. In the name of Jesus, we ask you to save them. Fill them with your love. Magnify your name in their hearts. Bless them so they know that it's you, Lord Jesus. Magnify your name. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. We commit them to you, Father. We ask you, Lord God, if... If they, if, if they won't be saved before, that during the tribulation they will certainly be saved. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And amen. Amen. All right, guys. I love you so much. I, I, might, I may do another video. Um, God willing. Um, after this one, I might even do a live stream. Um, please put your prayer requests in the comment section. And everybody, please... Uh, go through the comment section, attend to their pr uh, prayer requests, and um, I I'll see you soon in heaven. Um, I've got six seconds.
right. <laughs> I love you. I'm going to see you very soon. Hallelujah.